Hello and welcome back to All Right Guns. Today we're taking a look at the Zolly One. Yes, today we're taking a look at the Zolly One. Uh, this is a UK exclusive design, uh, designed to meet the needs of the, the UK shooter. Although I'm not quite sure what those needs are, or how they differ from the rest of the world. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you will have seen the video I did on the Zolly Z Sport. Uh, and I was really impressed with that gun, and it sort of confirmed to me that Zollies are absolute quality and worth looking at. Uh, I'm expecting great things from this one as well, although it's a little more on the, I don't want to say budget side, but it's definitely more affordable than the other. Um, yeah, let's see what it can do. So in terms of options, it's really limited. Um, basically, you can get this in 12 bore only with a choice of 29.5 or 32 inch barrels. If you've got one of these, please leave me a comment. I'd love to hear how you got on with it. Before we go any further, just a quick thank you to Shooting Sports UK for lending us this gun to test today. Uh, please go and give them a look if you're in need for the gun, ammo, accessories, anything else. Okay, so starting at the back. Uh, it comes fitted with a nice rubber recoil pad. Um, it's nice and grippy, got a bit of squish to it. Um, black plastic spacer. The wood to pad fit is absolutely fantastic. There's no lip around there, that's really, really good. Uh, if we take a look at the wood, this is supposed to be, I don't know, uh, they don't actually say what it's supposed to be, but I would say this is a solid grade three. Uh, got some nice, nice patterning in there. Uh, and it comes with this nice high gloss uh, oiled finish. Length of pull on this gun is 14 and 3 quarters. And if we turn it over, take a look at the grip. It's fairly modern, tight in pistol grip uh, with some machine done uh, checkering. It's quite nice. Uh, I do like the, the detail on the back here where they sort of the lines cross over. I think that's really cool. Um, it has got a decent palm swell on there, really locates your hand well. The wood to metal fit on this gun is pretty good almost everywhere, apart from just under here uh, by the trigger guard where there is a little bit of a gap, but nothing too much. So the action is a, is a sort of boss type locking mechanism. Uh, it's really solid, really nice. The whole thing is covered in a black finish, um, semi-gloss-ish, maybe a little bit brushed on the ends. Um, the engraving on here is really, really nice. So, obviously machine done, but it's some really, really nice fine scroll work. Um, and that covers everything apart from there's some rose details on the, uh, on the hinge pins. And underneath we've just got Zolly One, made in Italy. Uh, and that's it. While we're looking under here, the trigger plate on this gun is supposed to be uh, detachable. Uh, unfortunately it needs a tool to do it and that's probably sat in the case back at the shop so I can't show you that now but the whole thing does detach so that's quite nice. The safety catch for this gun is located here on the tang as you expect in a very Beretta style um, forwards backwards and then you, you move the tab over depending on what barrel you want to fire first. Okay looking at the trigger uh, it is silver in colour and it's not adjustable which I would have thought it would have been uh, at a gun for this sort of money but it's, it's okay it's in the right place anyway. Um, it is inertia, so that re requires the, the recoil of the gun to reset it over to the other barrel. Uh, let's give it a squeeze. I mean, that's that's really like really crisp. Give it a tap. You know, it's 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 a really good trigger, really nice. The top lever on this gun is, um, and the top of the action, to be honest, is is got this sort of rough pattern on there, and that's to cut down on glare, uh, and that works really well. The lever itself has got some checkering on the one side, um, and I don't normally get excited about levers, but this one, um, normally when you, you push a lever there's a bit of resistance to start with, with this one it's just absolutely smooth to open, um, you know, really really nice uh, top lever. The gun is chambered for 3 inch, so you can stick some magnums in here if you'd like. Uh, it's steel proofed and superior proofed at that. And the bores are 18.5 in the top and 18.6 in the bottom. The ejectors on this gun are fairly standard, nothing really clever to report with those, but they do work perfectly well. Now, moving on to the fore end, so it's released with this lever here. And we can see a single piece iron in there. 
checkering's nice, sort of crosses over uh, at the bottom. Really nice. Now onto the barrels. So the barrels are blued to a, to a nice glossy finish. Uh, the mid and the top ribs are both ventilated and the top rib being a tapered 11 to 7 millimeters with a single white bead sight at the end. It comes with a set of five flush fit chokes uh, which are cylinder, quarter half, three quarters and full. So value, I think you're getting an absolute cracker of a gun with this. Um, the engraving's lovely, the woodwork's nice. Um, it's worth saying that you're going to miss out perhaps on the second hand market because these don't hold their value ever so well. Uh, but if you plan on keeping it forever, great. So as for balance, this gun is a little bit in front of the hinge pin, maybe, maybe an inch, inch or so in front of the hinge pin. Yeah, it's not bad. Warranty, this gun comes with a massive 10 years warranty, uh, which is more than you're ever going to need. So I do think this is a great gun, I've really enjoyed having it here to review. Um, it does lack a few things that you would expect on a modern gun for this sort of money. So uh, there's no balancing system, the, uh, there's no adjustable trigger, there's no extended chokes. However, you've got to think to yourself, do you really need those things? This is, I would say, slightly nicer than some of the other guns that come with those features. Uh, I know myself, my 694, I don't think I've ever adjusted the balance or the trigger since I got it out of the box. And, you know, extended um, chokes, do you really need them? You know, that's for you to decide. But yeah, great gun, and uh, that's it for today. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.